Hey Sparkly X fam, this is Ren Esme the Werkheimer, and I heard of, and well, you told me about your Twilight fan dub auditions, uh, and uh, like I said, I like Twilight. I absolutely love it actually, and um, and um, I'm pretty good at doing some voices. So uh, since you didn't give me any lines, you said just to do whatever I want, and I want to do a new audition because my last one, I'm not sure about that one. Um, so I decided to just do. Um, do another one. So uh, I'm going to be do technically doing scenes for some characters, and uh, most of them have uh, Bella in it. So I'm going to be auditioning for Bella, Charlie, Jacob, uh, all three trackers, uh, Edward, Jess, and Angela, Carlisle, Esme, Rosalie, Alice, Emmett, and Jasper. So tech almost all the characters. Uh, and uh, and uh, they're going to be like complete scenes like uh, the one I have for... Um, for uh, Jessica and Angela, I have uh, I also have a little bit of Bella in it, and uh, it's the whole scene. Okay, so um, so I'm gonna start off with um, Bella. I've never given much thought to how I would die, but dying in the place of someone I loved seemed like a good way to go. So I can't really regret my decision to leave home. I would miss Phoenix. I'd miss the heat. I would miss my loving, erratic, airbrained mother and her new husband, Phil. But they want to go on the road, so I'm going to spend some time with my dad, and this move would be a good thing, I think. Okay, so I'm going to... So, uh, that, so that was Bella, and this is um, Charlie. So, I, so it's technically a full scene, so uh, it's also kind of the beginning, uh, but it's also going to have a little bit of Bella in it. My dad's Charlie. He's the chief of police. For years longer. I cut it since the last time I saw you. Oh. Guess I grew out again. I used to spend almost two weeks here almost every summer. But it's been years. I put some old shrills in the old bathroom. Right, in the bathroom. The, um, sales lady picked out the curtains. You like purple, right? Purple's cool. Okay. One of the best things about Charlie, he doesn't hover. Okay, so that was Bella and Charlie, and this is Jacob. Once again, it has a little bit of Bella in it. Okay, so, um, uh, here we go. Why did your friends mean by the Cullens don't come here? You caught that, huh? I'm not really supposed to say anything. Uh, come on, I can keep a secret. <laughs> really, it's just some old, scary story. Well, I want to know. Yeah, okay, um, did you know that Quileutes are supposedly descended from wolves? Wolves? Like, real wolves? Yeah, well, that's the story of our tribe. Okay, so what's the story about the Collins? Well, they're supposedly descended from this enemy clan. My great-grandfather, the chief, caught them hunting on our land. When they claimed to be something different, we made a treaty with them. If they promised to stay off Quileute lands, we wouldn't expose who they really were. To the Pale Faces. I thought they just moved here. Or just moved back. <laughs> right. So, what are they really? It's just a story, Bella. Come on. Okay, sorry, my Jacob may have not been my best, but, um, but uh, if you want to see some of my good Jacobs, because uh, I've gotten Jacob in a lot of series, then you can take a look. Um... Now, this is, uh, tr this is the trackers, um, so, uh, I'm gonna do the whole Waylon, um, thing, but, uh, I'm gonna skip Waylon's parts, so I'm just gonna be doing James, Laurent, and Victoria. Okay. So, here's James, Laurent, and Victoria, okay? Nice jacket. It's always the same in questions. Who are you? What do you want? Why are you doing this? James... Let's not play with all food. Okay, so that's the trackers. And uh, this is Edward. So uh, it's technically the whole scene with um, with Bella and Edward. With uh, You're Impossibly Fast and Strong. So this is Bella and Edward, technically speaking. You're impossibly fast and strong. Your skin is pure white and ice cold. Your eyes change color. And sometimes you speak like you're from a different time. You never eat or drink anything. You don't come out in the sunlight. <sighs> How old are you? 
17. How long have you been 17? A while. I know what you are. Then say it. Out loud. Say it. Vampire. Are you afraid? No. Then ask me the most basic question. What do we eat? You won't hurt me. Where are we going? Above the mountains. Out of the cloud bank. You have to see what it looked like in sunlight. This is why we don't show ourselves in sunlight. People would know we're different. This is what I am. It's like diamonds. You're beautiful. Beautiful. This is the skin of a killer, Bella. I'm a killer. I don't believe that. If you believe the lie, it's a camouflage. I am the world's most dangerous predator. Everything about me invites you in. My voice, my face, even my smell. As if I needed any of that. As if you could outrun me. As if you can fight me off. I'm designed to kill. I don't care. I've killed people before. It does not matter. I wanted to kill you. I never wanted a human's blood so much in my life. I trust you. Don't. I'm here, I trust you. My family, we're different from others of our kind. We only hunt the blood of animals. We've learned to control our thirst. But it's you. Your scent? It's like a drug to me. You're like my own personal brand of heroin. Okay, I'm gonna skip the rest because um, the rest of it's very long. And I kind of know this stuff by memory. Uh, so, And this is uh, Jessica and Angela, but also a little bit of Bella in it. Technically, all, almost all these scenes have Bella in it. <laughs> okay, so this is um, Jessica and Angela. Who are they? The Collins. They're um, Dr. and Mrs. Collins' foster kids. They moved here from Alaska about a year ago. They kind of keep to themselves. Because they're like together. Like together, together. The blonde girl, that's Rosalie. And she's with the big guy Emmett. They're like a thing. And I don't even think that's legal. Just they're not actually related. But they live together. It's weird. Um, okay. The spiky hair, the spiky haired girl, that's Alice. She's really weird. And she's with the blonde guy, Jasper, who's the one who looks like he's in pain. <laughs> Dr. Carla is some kind of foster dad slash matchmaker. Maybe he'll adopt me. Who's that? That's Edward Cullen. He's totally gorgeous, obviously, but apparently none of the girls are good looking enough for him. Like I care, right? Seriously, though, don't waste your time. Okay. So, uh, that was Jess and Angela, and this is Carlisle. Okay. I heard the chief's daughter was here. Isabella. Well, Bella, you, your x-rays look good. I think it'll be just fine. Okay, uh, this is, uh, Esme. Bella, we're making Italiano for you. And, uh, this is, uh, Rosalie. Like, these are just the quick lines that I just thought of. Okay. Uh, why? What is she to me? And, uh, this is, um, uh, Alice. Hi, Bella. I'm Alice. Oh, you do smell good. It's okay. Bella and I are going to be great friends. And, uh, this is also another line for Alice. The tracker. He just changed course. Uh, mirrors. A, a room full of mirrors. Okay, and then this is Emmett. The problem is you guys have gone public now, so. Okay, and, uh, this, then this is Jasper. It's a p p pleasure to meet you. Was your school here in Phoenix? Okay, so there's my audition. If you want to hear me do like uh, other impersonations or other lines or something, let me know. If you want me to redo anything, let me know. Um, let me know how well I did, what characters you think I'd be good for. And um, I know a lot of people don't pick me as Bella because people say that my voice is, that my voice is low, but the thing is I'm doing Kristen Stewart's voice, but since this is a fan, the fan dub, then I thought it would be acceptable. Uh, so anyway, let me know how I did, when the cast list is up, what part I got, and, um, yeah, let me know, and, uh, peace out.